and talking about all kinds of cool products. Great company showing neat various and sundry consumer electronics. And uh, one of them is the Fraunhofer HHI group. They're one of the largest research organizations in Europe of applied research doing some very cool things involving control by gesture. Our next guest is going to talk about that. He's the head of image processing department, uh, and his name is Ralph Sheffer. Ralph, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Fine, thank you. Glad thank you to have you. It's a pleasure. What are you guys showing here at IFA? And first of all, I know it's getting a lot of attention. I managed to swing by the Tech Watch area where you guys are located. A lot of folks gathered around saying, this is cool. So let's talk about control by gesture. What is that all about? Uh, we are mainly uh, showing 3D, uh, 3D v DTV, mm -hmm. uh, but we're using also uh, uh, the 3D TV display which doesn't need glasses, so it's an autostereoscopic display. Very and, good. and we use this to, to show our gesture system, so, we, so you can control a computer game by this, a 3D computer game. And this is just by moving your, your arms and fingers yeah, and so forth, yeah, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Just, just it's, it's taken by, by cameras, and, and, and so the, uh, the whole control on the screen is done by just gestures. You guys are really headed into tomorrow with 3D because there's a lot of discussion here at the show as well about what's happening with uh, three-dimensional television. You're doing some great examples of that. Right. Uh, we are looking more into the future. So what's shown on the show here uh, are, are mainly stereoscopic displays where you need glasses. We are working on a system which doesn't need glasses, so autostereoscopic displays. And I think that's what most consumers are really waiting for, for their foray into 3D. It's, it's one thing to, to know you can see some unique things, do some great uh, video games and, and some great movies, some sporting events when they're available in 3D. But to have to wear the glasses, that seems to be the big drawback for a lot of people. That's right. Uh, I, I think in, in the movie theater, glasses are accepted, so it's dark, uh, yeah. people looking at the screen. But uh, once you sit in your uh, living room and, and, and you're all already wearing glasses and, and you need some extra glasses and then your wife is looking at you and, <laughs> and maybe starting laughing, then, then you will not enjoy it anymore. That's true. And, and not, you're not styling. You know, everybody wants to be styling. And until the glasses look like just sunglasses, it's just not going to be very effective. And maybe by then we won't need them at all because of things that you guys are working on. Right. Ah. So we are working on a system where we want to decouple the display technology from the pickup technology. So what we are doing is to develop a, a complete system f from the camera to the display where you have an intermediate format uh, where you can then use any kind of display. A 2D display, a 2D, uh, a 2D display mm -hmm. so just a normal one, uh, a display where you need glasses but also uh, autostereoscopic displays gotcha. of any, any technology. And that's really the key, I guess, is whatever display you have available or want to use, you ought to be able to do, and especially with gestures. Right now, it's just pretty much for games, but what other applications would you see the ability to control by gesture? Any, uh, any computing, right? And anything. So, so you, you can replace your remote control uh, by just by gestures, uh, although that's a challenge so be, because uh, it's, uh, it's quite tough in a living room to, to, to be able to, to control the yeah. gestures. In you such reach a up way to scratch your nose and your volume yeah, is all yeah, the way up. Right, right. right yeah, good example. <laughs> or, yeah. or you've uh, <laughs> reached over to hug the wife and you've changed the channel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so they really have to be some specific, I guess, gestures or, or a command up front. I can see the need for this. I think it's going to be amazing, and, and we've seen a lot of prototypes, and what you yeah, guys one, are doing is pretty unique. One, one example is, for example, uh, in, in, in the hospital, so where uh, surgeons uh, control their uh, uh, apparatus oh, because yes. they don't want to, to touch uh, things. Sure. Uh, and, and that's a and very nice application. And contaminate the operation or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. They simply mm. can use gestures to control right. equipment or yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's, that's one cool. of the key applications. Yeah. I like that. Well, in the meantime, mm. for us consumers, we're thinking it'd be nice to change the channel and raise and lower the volume and turn on and off lights with gestures yeah, and do yeah, that. Yeah. You're working on that as well. Yeah, so. yeah. Very cool. Do you see any idea how soon we might be able to see something like that on a consumer level? Uh, that that may take, take some time. Uh, uh, so we, we're still concentrating on, on the professional applications uh, where this is more uh, mature and, and, and the uh, circumstances are more controllable than, than in the living room. Gotcha. So uh, certainly somewhat into tomorrow, but not too far. 
you know, th these are opportunities that will be coming along our way, <laughs> hopefully in our lifetime at least, in the next uh, few years. I, I'm yeah. sure, I'm <laughs> sure, yeah. Very good. Well, for more information, of course, we invite you to visit their website. It's HHI. Fraunhofer.de, and to make it easy for you, swing by our website. We're going to link you to Ralph's site and all of our guests here at IFA, and you can come by and see the video. Christine going to be shooting some video uh, this week of the highlights of IFA, and we're going to be sure and include this in the Tech Watch Hall because it is pretty cool. If we if you can get on in there, because the crowds are right. gathered watching yeah. people do this, pretty yeah. cool. Thank you, Ralph, for spending a few minutes with us. Okay. It was a pleasure. We're back with more from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.